So a couple of days ago, I was scouring on eBay, just looking for some general things, you know, looking for deals like you always do, and I ended up finding four items that I've wanted for a really long time, all for really good prices, and since I've been kind of slow on videos lately for reasons not really in my control, I figured today I would actually just do kind of a quick little video doing kind of a physical media update. Um, all four of these are animation related, so this is actually going to be an animation media update. Uh, I'm going to talk about that. And before I get into it, I would ask, like to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you have been enjoying my content you have not already. And also check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, links in the description, as well as my upcoming Minecraft channel, link in the description as well. Anyway, so the four items that I got, one was actually a three-pack that cost me only $21 with shipping, and the other was only $13, which was a, it is a Blu-ray. So this is actually three DVDs and one Blu-ray, which... Um, it's very uncommon, I don't collect DVDs a lot, however this was kind of an exception because this is something I've been wanting for a long time. But we'll show the Blu-ray first, and like I said, all three of these are animation related. Item number one is the Tom and Jerry Golden Collection Volume 1. Um, so we got that, and we have the booklet, which just has um, like a list of all the films in there really nice has like a little write-up from might be jerry beck i'm not exactly sure and you, know, you got the discs nice disc art and this is something i've been wanting for a very very long time um so it's the first 37 tom and jerry shorts all um remastered from inner negatives look they look mostly really good as good as inner negatives can be anyway and I wanted this for a long time because there's a lot of controversy surrounding this set. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, short story, Tom and Jerry Golden Collection was going to be a series which was going to be every single Tom and Jerry theatrical short in order, uncut, uncensored, remastered in HD. And they released one volume, it was very well received, and volume two ended up getting indefinitely cancelled after some fan complaints whenever indefinitely delayed, I mean, after some fan complaints because they announced two shorts would be omitted from the set. And we just never got volume two, so we're only stuck with this one. So yeah, I've wanted it for a long time. Of course, you guys know I love Tom and Jerry. And I do have access to every single Tom and Jerry short um, through on my hard drive. But it's nice to have physical media anyway. And, you know, we may never get volume two, so this is as good as we can do. Yeah, I haven't cracked into this yet, but I will watch it at some point. So the other three are all DVDs, and they are the Looney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 1, Volume 2, which has my favorite box art because it's purple and it's different on the inside, kind of like the old Simpsons box sets, and Golden Collection Volume 3. Okay, so Golden Collection Volume 1, front cover, and there's the back, you know, totally uncut front. Now what was really cool about this one, when you open it up, there's an old um, free pass to see Looney Tunes back in action, which was coming out, you know, right around the same time that the Golden Collection series started. And yeah, nice big spiraling. Um, what, what would these cases be called again? They're not really digi books, but, um, next up, volume two, which, like I said, love this cover the best, because it's purple and pink, and it's, um, you know, has the hole in there. Really cool. They have some quotes on the back of volumes one and two. And, yeah. Very cool. And... So kind of each disc has a different theme. Um, disc 1 is a Bugs Bunny collection on both. Disc 2 of Volume 1 is a Daffy and Porky collection, and the other two discs are kind of a mismatch. Disc 2 on Volume 2 is a Roadrunner collection. But anyway, Volume 3. Um, there's the back. Of course, all these I did new restorations for back in the day. Totally uncut. Same thing in there. This one might be my favorite just because I do really love the color scheme. Um, very nice and dark and pleasing, which I really like. So you guys might be wondering why I bought these. I do have a an archive of every single Looney Tunes short 
on my computer, hard drive rather, um, from the Looney Tunes Merry Melodies HQ project. Huge shout out to everyone behind that project too. They've been a massive help for pretty much everyone. But I still wanted these DVD sets, so I found these three in a collection on eBay for only $21 with shipping and tax, so you really can't go wrong with that. And I wanted these for like a couple of reasons. For one, I just think they kind of look cool. It's nice seeing them on the shelf next to each other. Um, as well as, you know, it is nice. I have access to every single Looney Tunes short already through the Looney Tunes Mary Melodies HQ project. But every once in a while, it's kind of nice just to grab out a collection, grab out a disc, and just throw it on. Um, and also, special features. These have a lot of special features on them. So, I started last night marathoning Volume 1. I got about halfway through Disc 2, um, and I had to stop. But yeah, this has been very fun to marathon so far. A great special features, too. Been fun to watch the collection of shorts. Volume 1 has a fantastic collection of shorts. And volume 2 is really good, too. Um, and these are the e original box set versions. So um, the Golden Collections, all six volumes have been re-released in the recent years in regular keep cases, which are just like the regular, you know, cases like this. Um, so these here are the original box set versions from back in the 2000s when they were released. And I'm glad I held out to get these versions because like, I think they look a lot cooler. I don't think these exact versions are in print anymore I could be mistaken but um yeah I'm glad I held out for these they look a lot cooler than the keep cases personally I think look nice on the shelf and there's been some issues with the golden collection repackages being bootlegged to hell long story so with these at least I know I'm getting the real deal so yeah I'm eventually going to try and track down volumes four through six they're a little bit harder to find because they didn't sell quite as well but yeah, eventually I'll get all six. These three, they look really nice on the shelf next to each other, and I've been having a lot of fun marathoning through them. Like I said, I don't really need any of these four because I already have um, every Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes short archived in full HD for the ones that have been released in HD anyway. But, you know, I love physical media anyway, so I want to get all these regardless. Um, I'm also going to try to track down the Platinum Collections, which are on Blu-ray. And there is a new Looney Tunes set coming out later in May, I believe. I can throw up a picture, perhaps, um, called The Collector's Choice, which will be on Blu-ray. already pre-ordered that. So yeah, I'm not going to ramble on any longer. I just kind of wanted to get an extra video out here today, and I figured, hey, I got these. Why not show them off? So yeah, um, other than that, guys, um, a couple videos here to come in the next few days. Got a lot of content planned for the Evil Dead franchise. That'll be really fun. But yeah, um... Other than that, look forward to those. Look forward to some more animation content. If you guys want to want me to keep doing like physical media updates and Blu-ray reviews and stuff, I'll happily do that. But yeah, on um, Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, links in the description. Minecraft channel, link in the description. That channel has not yet fully started. It will very soon though. With all that being said, guys, my name is Evan, and I bid you all farewell. Bye for now.